Hello friends, this is Nick from NLB Solutions and today I'm going to show you how you can install VMware tools on Ubuntu server. In my case it's my Zabbix monitoring server which I've installed a few videos uh, um, in few videos back um, I've uh, installed it on Ubuntu 14.04 uh, version but I haven't had the chance to install the VMware tools of course you know that the VMware tool, tools are really important so that your machine can communicate to the host uh, better and of course if you are using a Hyper-V server you need to install uh, the tools from it as well so in my case I have um, VMware tools to be installed so uh, let's dig in uh, first what I need to do is I'm going to log in with uh, my root credentials to my um, Ubuntu server so let's do this now the first thing that I want to do is I want to update uh, my package repository because there are a few prerequisites that we need to do um, in order for us to successfully install the VMware tools I've tried it bef uh, without the prerequisites and I failed so I must warn you here that this is really important to do so first I'm going to do um, 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 a repository update And I'm going to specify the credentials for my uh, root admin account and that is going to update all of my packages for my Ubuntu so that uh, later I can use it to install the um, essentials packages that are needed uh, before we proceed with installing the VMware tools. The next thing I'm going to do is to get install um, build essential Linux header header. Let me see if I run only with build essential. Yep, it's going to download 112 megabytes. Let's accept that. it's going to download all the needed packages and, and it's going to add them for me which is really great uh, I really like this functionality in Linux you don't have to um, go ahead and search for your uh, packages and everything uh, everything is in one place so you can install and remove uh, really easy with uh, one or two commands so after I have this so we are going to start by uh, mounting the VMware tools uh, disk uh, you can achieve this from your, uh, depending on uh, what um, hypervisor are you using, if you are using uh, VMware Workstation or um, uh, e VMware ESXi um, to, to install that, but you, you all know that you need to um, load the VMware tools from the um, vSphere client for example and uh, you can do this from from the guest side where uh, you can right click on the virtual machine guest and after that install VMware tools or you can right click on the machine and um, install VMware tools um, directly if you're using a VMware workstation so next what I'm going to do is I need to mount this image and I'm going to do this by um, let me just minimize this okay by using the command mount and I'm going to use to mount the dev CD-ROM to my media CD-ROM press enter and now you can see that I have uh, the device currently mounted but it's only read only but that's not going to make any difference for me um, next I'm going to change the directory using the command change directory let me change it and I'm going to list all the files and folders within that directory you can see that we have the VMware tools dash 9.9.3 and it's a tar.gz package which is uh, the equivalent of .zip or .rar it's an archive and what I am going to do next is I'm going to copy that archive to a temporary location like the Windows temporary folder in there I'm going to extract the files and install the application so let's do it 
we are going to copy VMware tools and we are going to paste them into temp directory. Okay, after this is done, uh, I'm going to change the directory and I'm going to unmount uh, the disk that I've just mounted because I don't need it anymore. Okay, you can do this with the command U mount without the N. It's really, really annoying um, when you write and you, when you are used to write unmount uh, to use on the U mount. But um, and I'm going to change the directory to the temp directory where I've um, copied the VMR tools. And let's list all the files. Now I have the VMware tools uh, currently there and as I said I'm going to extract the package. Uh, you can achieve this by using the command tar and then uh, xzvf which are the switches, VMware tools and just press enter. Uh, you will see a lot of folders and files being created, don't panic, it's normal. Uh, but uh, as a first time Linux user, it's, it can be really strange to see a lot of things happening at the same time. So I'm going to change the directory to... Uh, first, let's list once again to show you what we have as an output. We have another folder created vmware-tools-distrib. So I'm going to go there and list everything in it. And right on the bottom, you can see that we have VMware dash install that dash uh, dot pl. I'm sorry, and that is the um, um, file that we need to run in order for us to install the VMware tools. So let me run that as administrator under Linux, and dot uh, forward slash, and then VMware install pl. Press enter. And uh, after that, it's going to ask you some questions uh, if. Uh, you can use this guide to update your VMware tools as well. If it detects that you have VMware tools currently installed, um, possibly you have a um, previous version of VMware tools and you need to update them, this is the same procedure. So it will detect now that I have, but um, I can uninstall them and install them once again. So I'm going to press enter. And it's going to ask me uh, default questions like where do I want to to store the binary files, the logs and everything, but you can store them into the default location. Just press enter to this and uh, do not press and hold enter. Read through the messages because there could be something important saying, I'm going to wipe your server and you can press enter to it. So be careful with that. Of course, there is not no such message like this, but um, we can assume. So we don't want to make any harm on the server. So yes and yes to this so it's going to initialize right now um, do you wish to enable the feature which is the host guest file system allows to, sh to be shared so this is the functionality where you can uh, share files and you can mount them and use them within the virtual uh, virtual machine which is great i want this um, no no Okay, so it's going to start building everything for me and uh, it will enable dragging or copying files between the host and the guest uh, with uh, Ubuntu server without a GUI is going to be hard to achieve this, but uh, it's a great feature after all. So I'm going to click yes. Automatic kernel models, I don't want that. Uh, yes, guest authentication. Okay. Now it's going to, it should finish the installation and there, there we go. Now we have uh, up and running VMware tools on, on this uh, virtual machine. Of course, you need to finish that by restarting the, the computer. Uh, you can achieve this by the command to do uh, reboot. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, so you do reboot and it will restart your uh, server after the restart the VMR tools should be should be up to date and uh, everything should be run running fine so um, that's it from the video how you can install VMware tools on uh, Ubuntu server or any other Linux servers it's pretty much the same as I said so thank you very much for viewing I hope that um, this video will 
um, provide you the, the knowledge so you can achieve your day-to-day uh, -day tasks as an IT administrator and of course non-IT personnel just to train yourself and uh, be more aware what is going on in the IT sphere. So um, thank you very much for viewing and see you soon.